some juicy developments today. Ethan Klein from H3H3 and Steven Crowder were supposed to debate today, which didn't happen and turned into a huge mess. But it would have been cool if we saw a debate. But either way, the huge disaster of today is still incredibly interesting to talk about. Let's break it down. Before we decide who won, who lost, talk about the juicy details, all that stuff, I want to ask you guys to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below with what you think about this situation. And of course, I've got to plug my Discord channel, discord.gg forward slash GameRubble. There's a lot of us in there if you want to give me news tips or hang out with me or just get to know the rest of the community it's kind of like we took the comments from my youtube videos and the chatters from my twitch and just started a huge like gaming community and it's awesome you guys should definitely check it out so steven crowder on his show invited ethan klein to come on and debate him these are two absolutely massive creators on youtube one's very left-leaning the other one is very right-leaning and as we know the left and the right they don't get along it's kind of like a boxing match but a debate like i just thought that this would be really interesting if it actually happened and everyone was very excited for it there was a lot of people rallying around ethan klein saying that he was going to destroy crowder there was a lot of people from the right side that were rallying around Crowder saying that he was going to destroy Ethan. My predictions were if they actually did debate, it would probably be Crowder just because that's what he does. He likes to do these types of things. That's what his content is around. Ethan Klein isn't really used to having like an opponent he needs to outwit and debate against. So I just thought that Steven Crowder would win just from pure experience. But I also know Ethan Klein, he's just going to make things into a joke, which is what he did. So he just took this whole opportunity to make a bunch of jokes. Let's take a look at this debate, see how it went down. And then we're going to talk about who won. Uh, Ethan, thank thanks, man, for making the time. You're very welcome. And I just want to say, I know you called me. You said that I would be a layup. <laughs> which I, I is think fine, I which is like fine, that. and yeah, I think yeah. you're right, because I don't think I'm a very good debater. I think you know that. So uh, I didn't want to make it too easy for you. Oh, okay. So uh, I've prepared. Okay. Yes. All right, so, so Dan, what we were going to talk ready. about is, uh, what we were going to talk about is, you know, the initial quote that happened. I think he's looking off there. Uh, the initial quote that kind of was turned into um, a little bit uh, of a meme, which wasn't intentional. And uh, was you saying you don't even have to think about it regarding the CDC? Hmm. Uh, and I disagree with that. Um, I think people should think about it, I believe. And we said, talked about this through playful ribbing in an aggregation of medical authorities and scientific voices to make an informed and rational decision. Um, so where do you think that, I was, that I'm wrong on that? Stephen, do you know that um, the Spartans are, that they are like... Uh practice man love with children oh geez okay so this is what's gonna happen i t what did i tell you he was gonna do anything he could to avoid oh oh there he is oh no sam cedar what a whoa no. what a fucking nightmare you, i had no idea this was going to happen i thought i thought ethan was a stand-up guy this is oh, where we well. are yeah i told dave dave remember i told you i told you I said, this is, I guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Well, I just think he believes that he should debate you. No, no, he doesn't. He just takes advantage of, of women with, you know, mental health Steven, issues. Ethan Klein know, doesn't I, stand up and do, funny, to his own I fighting. I say, bring I just told him, let's bring on FM. You would uh, do anything to avoid talking to me. I think you're, the point that you made. Yes, that's Joe Rogan. Yeah, and Joe Rogan and Ben Shapiro. And, and Dave ben Rubin Shapiro. and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky and Sam Harris. Everyone's been avoiding. And not just attempting to get Peter. your audience by jumping in. <laughs> well, I, I debated with uh, Charlie Kirk. <laughs> Stephen, I mean, it's okay. about issues. Let's it's about talk issues. about those yeah. issues. That's I think what you're doing here. Valid yeah. points. You're so clever. I, I had no idea that you were taking your show off early last time, coming in today with your pig pen peanuts. I wish every. <laughs> You take those off with a velveteen really buttons. We must have been Black very worried eyes, about this, Stephen. Like I don't know why. <laughs> no it one's would be, worried oh, come about it. Sam so didn't want to do well, it. Let's, let's have Sam, a debate. Come on, no just, I'll worried, tell you what. I have a general. This. I have a general. This is a great opportunity. I don't start a debate to, based with people on a lie. And how about you get sabotaging? To a, how about you get Stephen? Show yourself, you coward. Stephen, show yourself. Don't show your co-host. Ethan, you should show yourself. Ethan, how can you respect yourself as a man, brother? Stephen, you are such a 
coward. Stop saying. showing your little leprechaun you co-host who comes right, out right. dressed hey, like Ethan, your sidekick. Come on, Ethan. Why do you have to bring show on a show? Show Steven. The I'm really the really what? The saddest yeah. thing I've ever heard. Shut up. Coward. <laughs> All right. Good. You guys wow. are good. Thank you. Coward. Steve, you won't even take off the glasses. Uh, I was right. All right. Yeah. You can run away. You run away twice. Cold feet again. Okay, let's break that down. Ethan manages to pull in this guy, Sam Cedar, who is apparently someone that Steven Crowder doesn't want to debate. And the reasons around that are kind of arguable, depending on who you're talking to. From what I can gather, it's kind of a combination of a few things. One, Steven Crowder probably doesn't want to give anybody that's like the opposite of him, that's basically an enemy, any type of exposure or clout. And debating somebody he doesn't like is only going to bring attention to that. But also, if someone's like really good at debating and he has a chance of losing, maybe he doesn't want to debate them either. So a lot of people are saying that he's scared of debating the guy. He's saying that he doesn't want to give him any attention. I think it's probably a combination of the two. But we can't let Ethan Klein get out so easily either. I think it's really scummy to bring in somebody that debates for you. It's like he like nominated a champion to fight on his behalf and that's just not fair to the other person that you agreed to debate one thing that was really weird was how in the debate like ethan kept showing the guy that he wanted the debate for him and then crowder's crew would show like his sidekick guy instead so it wasn't actually showing the right people on screen i just found the whole thing incredibly bizarre steven crowder left in the middle of it like a wiener and couldn't just finish it even though it's chaos and it's not what he expected he should have just stayed there and finished it while ethan klein is yelling that he's a coward for leaving when he brought in some other guy to debate in his place so it's like as if he does no wrong you know it's, it's so hypocritical everything's messy i mean who's right and wrong everyone's wrong here i don't know what happened with that but there's got to be a winner right who came out on top and just like always the way that you determine who came out on top is who is uh screaming the who's the winner online and everyone's saying ethan klein won everyone's bagging on Crowder. He's being called Steven Coward all over Twitter. And it's like the simplest roast. Steven Crowder makes comedy by making fun of people. And that's okay. I don't have any problem with that. But it also means that people can make fun of him. And you could just take the stupidest thing, something super trivial, and just call him Steven Coward. And it's going to stick forever. Incredibly powerful. And you can't really do anything against it. I'm personally not on like anyone's side here. I'm just kind of looking at it from the outside and watching Ethan Klein being a clown. Sam Cedar himself was being a clown. And also Crowder ended up being kind of a clown. So it was just a bunch of honk honk going on as far as I'm concerned. All in all, I'm actually disappointed that there wasn't an actual debate because I would have liked to see that. I think Ethan Klein could probably hold his own and say things in the way he wants to say them. But then Steven Crowder would probably just bully him with better debating skills. I don't know. You know what? Maybe it is better that it ended this way. Anyways, guys, that's the story. Thank you very much for watching another episode of The Feed. Like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you're on one of these guys' sides or who you thought won. I'd love to know. I'll see you guys in the next video.